equilibrium of a rigid body. So in equilibrium, usually we have defined it in a translational motion. Okay, what is translational motion? That means it's move up, move down, move left, move right. So if a body is in translational equilibrium, then the sum of the forces is equal to zero. That means the net force is equal to zero. Actually, we have learned it in the Newton's second law. So when something is in equilibrium, the net force is equal to zero. If there is a net force, in another word, there will be a translational acceleration. So if the block here is in equilibrium, then the total upward force it will equal to total downward force, so F1 equal to F3, and the total force towards left will be equal to the total forces towards right. Okay, so we can use this idea to formulate some equation. Now, rotational motion can also be equilibrium. So if an object is in rotational equilibrium, then sum of the moments about any point will be equal to zero. That means the net moment will be zero. Okay, so in another word, if the net moment exists, the body will have a rotational acceleration. That means it rotates faster, 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 or it rotates slower, slower, and slower. Now, if the rod is in uh, equilibrium, then the total clockwise moment will be equal to the total anti clockwise moment. So in this case, the F1 is contributed to the total clockwise moment. So F1, D1 will be equal to the F2, D2, which contribute to the anti-clockwise moment. So here are the conditions for the equilibrium of a rigid body. So if a body is kept at rest by the number of forces, then both of the following conditions are satisfied. That means if it is in trans translational equilibrium, then there is no net force acting on it. So if this is in rotational equilibrium, then no net moment will exist on it. Now, here are the application of the equilibrium. So when the rod is at rest, that means it is in equilibrium, then the forces are balanced. So total upward force is equal to total downward force. In this situation, the upward force is F1 and F2, and the downward force is W. So this idea is very important for us to formulate equations. Now, because we have an other idea about equilibrium, so the moment should also be balanced at every point. Every point is really every point, here, in this figure, we can see three significant points, A, B, and C. So if we consider the moment about C first, when we consider the moment about C, you can see that the F1 is actually contributed to the clockwise moment, while the F2 is contributed to the anti-clockwise moment about C. So we can formulate the equation F1, Fd equal to F2, D2. But this is not just the only case. The moment about A, so if we consider the moment about A, then the W will contribute to the clockwise moment, while F2 will contribute to the anti-clockwise moment. In this situation, then we can formulate an other form of equation with using W and F2. We can also formulate the third equation with the moment about B. This time, the F1 and F and the W will contribute in clockwise moment and anti-clockwise moment. So which equation we choose, it depends on which one is more convenient to us. So you need to have more practice with different example, you can get the idea when is more convenient to us. In this figure, let's see how do we use this idea. Now, we know the weight of the block here. We want to find the normal reaction force acting 
on the support A and the support B. So the call it RA and RB, which is pointing upward because it is a support. So it is pushing the rod upwards. So let's take the moments first. If we take the moments about A, once again, clockwise moment is equal to the anti clockwise moment. If we take the moment about A, that means if we consider A as a pivot, then we will find that the 24 Newton will contribute to the clockwise moment. So we can formulate the left hand side of the equation. And the right hand side of the equation, the RB is contributed to the anti clockwise moment. So we can formulate an R the equation. Uh, make sure you change the unit to meter in order to help us for the calculation so that we can find the RB is 9 Newton. Since the rod is at rest, so besides we can consider moment, we can also consider the forces. So total upward force is equal to the total downward force. In this way, we can also find the RA.